The journey is hard and it's never going to be perfect all the time. To know that in the end, the journey is the reward. It's time to take the next step. I think a program that talks about mental health, that talks about sexual assault, that talks about boundaries, you're going to see a population of incoming freshman students who are more prepared to handle the challenges of college, navigate them better, and enjoy their experience. Take the next step in your safety. It's simple. If you educate high school students on the issues that they care about, that matter to them, that they interact with every day, they're going to be more prepared for those situations and they're probably going to handle them better, probably be able to make better choices in the moment. Take the next step in your tolerance. The next step, it's positive, it's proactive. It's about getting out in front of these issues that are so critical to today's youth. The next step is about help. It's about hope. Commit to yourself by taking the next step. Take the next step in your education. It doesn't matter if your interest lies in the arts, music, you want to be a doctor, a lawyer, it doesn't matter what your interests are. I think if you come into college with an understanding how important having good character is and just to be passionate about whatever your interest is, you're going to have success in the end. Take the next step in your preparation. There's a whole world out there. I encourage all to, you know, start thinking about your future. Start developing good habits. Start setting goals for yourself. Start having aspirations outside of your own community. I think as an educator, a coach, one of the best things about my job isn't always winning the games and the championships. It really is about watching kids transform themselves into the person they're meant to be. Commit to yourself for the next four years. Just commit to doing what your heart believes. And if you don't know what your heart believes, commit to finding out what it is then. But at the end of the day, it comes down to you and what you choose to do in your quietest moments. How will you take the next step?